Space Nines, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One, and we are 10 minutes or less. Let's start the timer. Dude. What? I don't know. Mm-mm. What is wrong with the world? Um, it is crazy out yeah, there. Right? It's a jungle, Jonas. It, it is a jungle. Welcome to the jungle. Axel Rose said it best in 1989. We've got fun in games. Yeah, and then like, welcome to the jungle, baby. You gonna die. I mean, that's a, that's a metaphor for life. Oh, it'll bring you down to your... Yes, <laughs> yes exactly. It has. <laughs> so... I don't know what, yeah, I don't know. But anyways, that we're not, this isn't an episode about Guns N' Roses and Welcome to the Jungle. Did you hear about Howie Mandel? He's a hypochondriac, or at least he plays one on TV. Did you hear about TV. his TikTok antics? His TED Talk antics? No, no. TikTok. No. Oh, is he like super no, right wing? No, he put a video of a prolapsed anus on his TikTok. He put a video of a prolapsed anus on his TikTok. Yes. I just wanted to repeat that to make sure that's what you said. <laughs> it is what I said. Whoa. And he's, he's he's a fairly famous man, probably has millions of followers on oh. TikTok, right? Okay, wait. So was it like a medical thing? I don't was know. Was he trying to be I, educational? I, just, I tried to figure out if he made a statement, but he put it out and then he deleted it. And then like, I don't think it was his anus. Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter to me. I mean, I guess it does, because if it was his anus, then at least that explains where the prolapsed anus came from. Um, yeah, and but then, then you like, know, it opens was just up a like people, bunch of other questions, I guess, too. Yeah, it, it just said, yeah, it says, it says, shocked social media over the weekend by uploading an uncensored video of what appeared to be a rectal prolapse. I and, mean, was it like an Im image or was it like a... Oh, it says Mandel's friend could be seen bending over and exposing their anus while seemingly experiencing a rectal prolapse to the camera. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then it was removed after several hours, and then he continued posting the TikTok in the aftermath. It appeared to have, like, had nothing had happened, and his... and. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Wait a minute. So then he put it back up? <laughs> no, no, that was it. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It was... Uh, okay. It said... <laughs> It said I should have been a nosy, I shouldn't have minded my business instead of being a nosy bitch and searched up Howie Mandel and said I thought Howie Mandel had died, but turns out it was much worse. <laughs> like, so was it like one of those things where like the Draymond Green dick pic on Snapchat to everybody by accident sort of thing? Like he didn't mean to post the rectal prolapse. Like he just yeah. has his buddy like prolapsing on camera for him, and yeah. he was like. That, that's the crazy thing is like now it sounds like him and his friend just like hanging out bro and out you know vibing feeling the bro vibes and it's like yeah let me see your you know you, you what you got going on there. yeah right and it's and it, so like but here, i guess here's the thing if you're famous and you post something like an accidental dick pic like draymond green oh i got hacked or, or I right hacked. but is it better to just not say anything delete it and pretend nothing no nah, bro i got hacked every single time <laughs> It gives it seriously. It, getting hacked is so we can get hacked right now, and I could just like spit a bunch of racial slurs right now. I could yeah. just do it. I mean, we could both just say slurs and just say we got hacked, Jonas. Yeah, and then yeah. everybody, if I ever want to just say the n word, I can just be like, I got hacked. Yeah, like, you, they, they're like, it's your voice. No, no, no. They no, they deep faked my voice yes, on top of it. Yes, <laughs> thank you. They can do that now. You know, honestly, we have enough. We have enough audio on the internet. They probably could exactly. take the sounds and make me say the N word with and, my voice over yep. and over. Again. I mean, they could just take it from the times you've actually said oh, it. Shut and up. Just Get loop out of here, dude. You always try to paint me as a racist. <laughs> um, but yeah, dude, I was like, it. it was just such a weird story. It doesn't have a lot of follow up either. Like, I tried to figure out like what was. No. It was just like he was like, "No, nah, me and my bro just hang out, prolapsing, and now we're done." Mm, maybe he's going to proctology school and. He yeah, was trying to uh, learn. On a related note, I did accidentally come across a prolapse video one time in the internet, and I've never forgot it, and don't ever want to see that again. So I didn't even go. Just, just a one. <laughs> yeah, they're honestly, all over the place. Honestly, man. I've only accidentally came across one video when I was like, "Oh, I yep." Now I know what that's like. Yeah, kind of just like hangs out like a sock. Here just comes. Just, <laughs> no, it's like a it's like a, a dog a dog's red rocket, but from the no, back. Oh, <laughs> why, why would you? I tried to make it cute and lovable by saying it looks like a sock hanging out of your butt. You're like, it looks like a dog penis. Like, where, where, where are you? Here comes the lips. <laughs> <laughs> Demonetized. Thank what, you. what do you mean? Uh, dude, yeah, I don't know, man. It's just... It's it's uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't I don't know why it's a thing or why it maybe he got hacked. OK, so, yeah, there's a bunch of things. Maybe he got hacked. OK, maybe he's just into some weird shit, which a lot of people are. You know, it's fine. Or it's maybe he's just his bro. They're just hanging out. He's like, dude, guess what happened to my butt? And he's like, 
bend over, show the camera. <laughs> so the guy's like, yeah, dude. Like, um, yeah, exactly. Maybe, maybe it's just hanging out. Um, I don't literally. Post, we don't post literally. We don't post a lot to social media. No. Um, but I do realize is that there's a very thin line between all of the like things on my cell phone that either I have like looked up or that I have like saved to it that I would not want people to know that right. I am into nothing illegal. No, no, yeah, I feel but you. you know, like please just burn my phone when I, if I ever die and like something to do, just just uh, I know put it, I, into, well, put it into like a quantum inseminator and yeah. just inseminate it. Well, that, that's why I was like uh, incinerate. Throw you mean not inseminate? Okay, whatever. Yeah, but uh, that's that's like we joke. I was like, if I ever die, Same I never, thing. I didn't have a, a computer or a tablet. Throw that shit in the trash. Yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. Just, just like, like throw it directly into the sun, <laughs> right? And burn it. It's like yeah, run it, fill up, fill up a uh, a sink with water, dunk it in water, concrete, let it sit <laughs> there, and then just go find a dumpster, yes, and, and throw it in, yes. and and that's and it. Then, and bury that Trump dumpster in the Mariana they're, Trench. They're like, they're like, Jonas didn't have a cell phone. No, nope. weirdest thing, he didn't even have a cell phone. Nope, didn't have any of that stuff. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, he didn't like technology. And it's not like I would like, like they're gonna bring it up at my funeral. Like, oh, hey, did you hear about the found on his phone? No, it's nothing <laughs> that bad. It's just like, yeah, you know, my I phone is to be like, guess what? Jonas <laughs> likes boobs. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Like, <laughs> I don't want them to know what kind of boobs I like. It's just, a, and, you know, and I'm dead, so it's like, who cares? But right, it's yeah. like on the same note, I think my friends and family are better off not those things still be like, a mystery. Nobody wants to know the kind of porn you watch or the the you know stuff like that. Like your family, exactly. like your family. If you die young, your your mom doesn't need to know you're into lesbian stuff or whatever you're exactly, into. Exactly, like, dude. I, you know what? I never have been to my grandfather's or my grandmother's grave. Looked over and been like, you know what? I wonder what kind of porn they watch. It, right. Like yeah. So like, like, oh that. man, my dad passed away when I was young. I never got to talk to him about what kind of porn he liked. Yeah, like, I don't dude, need no. that in the back of my friends and family's mind. Like, oh yeah, I heard he was really into Asian women. <laughs> yeah, right. like, like, come on <laughs> yeah dude it's, so keep keep your prolapses off of, off of social media you know because oh, now that, we know he, what he's into well and that's that thing where i see that people now are in their wills and stuff are putting like social media ownership to like their family and like here's my here's the access to my accounts and da, 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 keep my if you want to access, dude if i i mean I, I don't really use social media but if i did that the day I die is the day that shit shut down forever. Right? No one is getting in there and looking at my DMs. No one is getting in there and posting on my behalf. Any, I don't have anything too crazy. Well, though. right, but well, I mean I don't really use it, so that's the thing. But like, but I get it. Like if you're if you're an influencer or something, right? And that's how you make your money. Yeah, that's one thing. I, I get it, but like, but if you die, like. Your your mom ain't gonna yeah. run your account. It is weird when like people start tweeting from the grave and shit. Like uh, I think Michael Jackson's <laughs> <laughs> Twitter yeah, dude, was like, like making comments and XX Temptations has been and it's like why why are these people still making comments? And I get it, it has access to a bunch of those ple- because your name becomes a business at that point. Right? But no, nobody's making any money off of me. Don't have no. me tweeting like I hope the Browns win this. <laughs> <laughs> this, this Hope naked Bakefield gets gets good. <laughs> oh, by the way, he got traded to the Panthers. I heard for nothing. For nothing. Dude. Like it was like a fourth, uh, fifth round pick, potentially a fourth round pick, and they and the Browns paid like two thirds of his salary. Carolina yeah. got a steal yeah. because Baker isn't. Cl- I mean, he's not the greatest. But he's better than a fifth round pick. We got the new guy. We got the new guy. We got the, we got the sexual assaulter. Hey, well, you know, allegedly. Hey, we got our own Roethlisberger now, so maybe we won we'll the Super Bowl. We got our own Roethlisberger. <laughs> basically, except Roethlisberger, was he convicted? No, uh, no, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. They, they dropped the charges too. They, oh, you mean they settled out of court? No, no, no. He just dropped a sack of money off at her house, dude, oh, okay. for fun. Yeah, it was just, it was. <laughs> they just dropped it at her house. He oh. drove by, throw us a duffel bag oh, full of money. Oh shit! Now. There's four million dollars in your mailbox i don't know how that oh there's a big Steelers insignia on the yeah, bag yeah, right yeah dude so so yeah i don't know i saw that story about howie mandel and i was like that's so weird like have you ever accidentally posted anything crazy online no i don't post online so i mean even when you had like no uh, i would uh but see back <coughs> back in the day when i used like myspace and facebook, facebook and stuff and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. i wouldn't post anything super wild but i would like I would make jokes and like it was it was because yeah. it was it was more of a fun thing back then. Now everybody takes it so serious. It's like it's yeah. like you post something online that is a one hundred percent direct representation of yourself. Yeah, and that's it. You can't even like have an online presence where you're funny or. or so I, I bring up the time where I made like a, a statement online, like it was just like a joke. Um, 
and it got me fired from a job. Yeah. I've also heard about like people who were like college professor who got fired because they attended a bachelor party and they're drinking out of a penis shaped straw and it was brought to the attention yeah. of the alumni that this was a thing and the students found oh, yeah, out dude. and it was I like, don't... Oh, sorry, you're fired. And it's like, no, I ain't posting anything on the internet of myself. <laughs> There's bar- like yeah. I, there probably isn't a picture of me on the internet in the last like 15 years. Oh, there is definitely an embarrassing picture of me in a blonde wig from Halloween of like I don't even want to say what year, but it was in the 1900s most likely. <laughs> oh right, right, yeah. So or no, it was probably the early 2000s, I guess. But either way. Yeah, you got to be careful what you put out there. Absolutely. But anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.